Hello everyone, I'm Snows, your host for Boot Sequence, but I also host dinner parties on weekends and weddings in October. So take your pick. Roll the intro! Oof, it seems like Intel's having some issues with its 10 nanometer tech. Apparently, it is broken and they tried to sweep it under the rug. The company had a nearly perfect quarter with $16.8 billion in revenue. That's up 16% from last year, but it also promised that in 2015, it would deliver mass production of its 10 nanometer processor family in 2017. After a few delays to 2018, the process was set to be delivered this year, but it seems like they are pushing the launch once again. The time frame that they're moving it to is all the way to 2019. The way CEO of Intel Krasnick sees it, Intel does have defined fixes but they haven't tested those in mass production, which means that if the fixes don't work or have failures, Intel could return to the drawing board and delay the whole thing even more. On the other end, AMD already has working seven nanometer chips in its labs, and it will apparently come to Epic 2 this year, followed by the next Zen architecture next year. Keep in mind that the process of an architecture doesn't define its performance, but it sure helps to be one step ahead in the development. Two, if you consider the fact that Intel doesn't even have a working seven nanometer architecture. Things are getting pretty intense in the CPU game. What do you think? Can Intel pull off an early 2019 launch? Or do you think that they will wait until mid next year like they usually do? Let me know what you think down below. I'd love to know your take on it. All right, let's talk Apple. According to a single CNET source, Apple is developing what appears to be the headset of your dreams. The VR display will feature one 8K display for each eye, and it's also going to have inside-out tracking with the help of some cameras, and will transfer the information wirelessly with Ygig technology to connect to a computer, similar to some of the wireless VR solutions that we have now. The headset will reportedly arrive in 2020, and you know what else is supposed to happen by then? Apple is apparently going to have their own custom processors. All right, let me drink the Kool-Aid for a second. Hold on. All right, that should be good enough. It does seem like a crazy long shot, but Apple is known for releasing display technology that matters. To my knowledge, nobody made Retina phones or high-res laptops before Apple. No one had a 5K display on their desktops before Apple. Optimizing and custom picking the hell out of their hardware is what they do. Don't get me wrong, we only have a single source of information for this, but if anyone can pull it off, I definitely think it would be Apple. All right, time for me to remove this. All right, let's go from Apple to Windows. Microsoft is prepared to release new Surface hardware that will apparently include a phone. Now, Microsoft has had its fair share of failures in terms of Microsoft phones, including all of the Nokia phones that they released, but the Surface brand did grow 32% year over year, and it is, in my opinion, associated with high quality products. So if a sleek new Surface phone pops up, I think it might do great as long as it has Android in it. I mean, let's face it, their Windows phone thing isn't that great. All right, speaking of Microsoft, let's get into their gaming stuff now. The Xbox One has FreeSync. While this update was available in preview builds for about the last month, it is out for everyone to enjoy now on the newest spring update. With this update, you also get 1440p output and FreeSync 2 with HDR, although the last two I just mentioned are only available for the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X. Do you game on a computer monitor? I always saw consoles as part of uh, my home theater system, so let me know down below if you game on one, or if you prefer the comfort of your couch like me. In other gaming news, we've got some bits about the new Super Smash on Switch. Well, not really, but at the same time, it's a little bit more information. The game will be a big part of Nintendo's E3 show on June 12th, and it will be the center of the show floor. It will, of course, be featured in the Treehouse Live gameplay demonstration, so we can peep some videos online the day of the show. I will definitely stay tuned for that. And now for the little fun fact about your boy here. I used to work at KFC as a cook, and when I started, the guy who was showing me how to clean the oil accidentally spilled the content of two fryers on the floor because you have to drain the oil into a machine for it to clean it, but he didn't align it properly and both fryers just dumped everything on the floor. He decided, oh, I'm gonna put flour on the floor, that way I, it's gonna absorb the oil and then I can just remove it. And I told him, you know what? You could use ice instead so it could freeze the oil and you could just remove it by scraping it out. 
And then he told me, hey, that's a good idea. You should try it out. And I was proud until I realized he just didn't want to clean it up himself. So he made me do it instead. And that's pretty much it for the news today, my dudes. Click here to watch the latest video and right here to subscribe to the channel. As usual, all of the links are below. Have yourselves a great day, stay frosty, and I'll see you on the next video. My back just cracked. You guys probably didn't hear that, but...